Alright, I am in the car right now. Um, I'm literally waiting at the stoplight to go into the parking lot for the Apple Store to get my new Mac Mini. I've been at this for about two cycles now. I'm on my third cycle at the stoplight uh, and it's been about 10 minutes. So I figured I'd take a little bit of time since I had some spare time sitting here to kind of re record my intro. Um, I will start recording again. I forgot to, I wore the wrong shirt to go pick this up, but I will try my best to record picking it up and then I will do a little unboxing. See you soon. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing okay. I am here to pick up an order. Cool. Uh, online purchase? Yes. Fantastic. If you've got a QR code for that, I'll have you take that code right over to my order pickup team in the background. Okay, got it. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. Got it. All right. I have checked in, so I'm just waiting for that Mac Mini to come out. I will check in with y'all once I get it in. All right. Just walking out of the Apple Store with my Mac Mini. When I get home, I will be able to do the unboxing. All right, folks, today is the day we will be unboxing my M2 Pro Mac Mini. Here we have it. I am home with the computer. Now, I know there's a lot of unboxings already for the M2 Mac Mini, but I wanted to cover this one as I got the 12-core CPU, 19-core GPU, with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabytes of storage, and the 10 gigabit Ethernet. Now I chose this Mac Mini for future proofing as I intend to use this for the next 5 or so years. I will be doing a lot of video editing as well as potentially game streaming. I do also intend to buy Apple's motion program to kind of get into doing a bit of dabbling into the whole motion scene just to kind of learn a little bit about doing visual effects work. The program itself is only about 50 bucks so it's not too expensive. With that being said, let's go ahead and start the unboxing. Also, I wanted to make this video to answer one question for myself as it's not really talked about over the internet from what I've seen. I want to answer the question, is it possible to daisy chain two Apple Thunderbolt displays to the M2 Pro Mac Mini? I do have two of these Thunderbolt displays set up at my desk and I did buy a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter to see if I can daisy chain these two displays to this computer and I will be showing that in this video. Alright, and here we have the Mac Mini. I had a 2012 and a 2014 Mac Mini in the past, and honestly this one looks bigger than I remember. I have to go in and check to see if they've changed the size at all on this computer. And of course we know we get all the Apple materials as well as the Apple sticker. I just want to go through real quick to see what everything looks like. I definitely want to use the sticker, I just haven't decided to use for it yet. And then of course we also get the power cord. And that is all that comes in the box, but of course you may know that if you've seen other unboxings for this computer. I will also be editing this particular video, so that way I can do a review at the end to let you guys know how this computer runs. I am coming from a mid-2015 MacBook Pro, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be such a major difference going to an M2 Pro chip on the Mac Mini. Use requires acceptance of the software license terms presented electronically during setup. Look at that beautiful Mac Mini insignia. I apologize, I'm recording in 4K, yet the insignia is not showing up on camera. Four USB-C ports, two USB-A, 10 gigabit Ethernet, the power connection along with the headphone jack. Now I won't be doing any deep dives into like benchmarks or anything. Uh, if you want to know about benchmarks, especially with the 12 core CPU and this 19 core GPU version, Max Tech actually has a really good review and benchmark video that he posted. I'll leave the link to the video down in the description below. Max Tech does a very good explanation and has a lot of good benchmarks regarding the 12 core CPU, 19 core GPU version of this computer, which is what I have. I'm not sure if he has the 32 gigabyte. I do remember him saying that he got the one terabyte SSD. 
I think he has the 32 gigabyte model RAM for, for this as well. But go check that out if you want to look at more in-depth benchmarks regarding this particular M2 Pro Mac Mini. Now we're going to go ahead and unbox the Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. So that way we can answer that question if we can daisy chain my two Apple Thunderbolt displays to this Mac Mini. There it is. So we have one port that goes into the USB-C, one of the USB-C ports. And then there is the Thunderbolt 2 port, which is essentially a mini display port connection. All right, here are my two Thunderbolt displays uh, with my hard drive caddy, because uh, I do some work with, you know, taking hard drives, erasing them, and uh, retrieving data for people. So I kind of, I haven't started charging people, but I'm kind of doing that as a side thing and getting experience in that way. Um, and as you can see, my time machine backup, 9% done, about 22 hours remaining. It right now is close to 10.30 here at uh, Pacific Standard Time in the morning. And I did start this about two hours ago and only 16 gigabytes copied with the total space amount. Where, where is the total space? I don't see that anymore. Okay, so it's about 9% done, um, but I have about 190 something gigabytes that's going over to this backup, so I don't know why it's taking so long. I'm using a USB 3 flash drive, so the speed shouldn't be this long. Anyway, once this is done, I'll be able to set up my Mac Mini, get everything transferred over to uh, the Mac Mini, and uh, see if this, uh, this connection goes through. All right, moment of truth. Will the daisy chaining work with this computer? Bye. There's the chime. <gasps> they both work. They both work, Rain. They're both working. Yay. I am so excited. So we have answered the question that two Thunderbolt displays can be daisy chained and work on an M2 Pro Mac Mini. The computer is updating right now, it's installing a software update, but I figure I go ahead and take some time to let you know how I have the setup right now. I'm not going to show you the back because I'm a little embarrassed because of the cable management. The cable management looks terrible behind my monitors right now. But I have the monitor on the right right now, daisy chain. I have I have the Thunderbolt port plugged into this monitor right here. And then I have the Thunderbolt wire from this monitor plugged into the Thunderbolt adapter here in the, uh, in the back of the Mac Mini. So it is definitely possible to daisy chain and use one adapter instead of two. If you're gonna use two Thunderbolt displays, I'm very happy with this. I'm super glad that I didn't have to spend another 50 bucks on another adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish updating and then I'll be able to get everything installed in terms of putting my backup onto this Mac mini and then I'll start transferring other things because I have uh, other files on my, this is my legitimate backup drive with a lot of my video files and whatnot. So I'll start pulling things from this onto this. Then I have some work that I want to go ahead and start doing to see how this runs and I'll be recording that as well. So stay tuned and we'll be right back.
Welcome back. I have spent the last few days working on this new Mac Mini, doing some light work such as checking emails and web browsing, as well as doing some heavier lifting with video editing. In the last two days of video editing, I have edited, including this video, four videos on this new Mac Mini, and I must say that I am completely blown away by the results. As you can see, I am using my iPad as a third screen for this Mac Mini. It's a refreshing change of pace compared to working on the mid-2015 MacBook Pro that I was previously working on. I ran a speed test of the 2TB SSD prior to starting my video edit work, and here are the results that came up after 5 runs. With this new Mac Mini, video imports, transcoding, and rendering are so much quicker, I am not only amazed, but I'm shocked as well. A 5 minute video that used to take half a day, now only takes me 30 minutes to an hour to finish. A few hours worth of 4K video, or even 1080p content, would take a full 24 hours to import and transcode on my mid-2015 MacBook Pro. However, on this Mac Mini it only takes minutes. I'm extremely happy with this purchase, and I'm looking forward to the possibilities of doing much more work now that I can get done quicker with, with my timeline uh, on this new computer. I am extremely satisfied with the purchase and I'm looking forward to using it in the years to come. I have much content planned for this channel over the coming year. Please like this video if you enjoyed me talking about and unboxing this Mac Mini. Uh, please subscribe for more videos and share this with your friends to get the word out to as many people as possible uh, because the content that I do have planned will be enjoyable across many ages as well as different groups of people. With that being said, this has been a Four Tigers Entertainment production. We will see you on the next video.